Hi viewers, welcome to Safi Maxed. In this video, I'm going to share how to write conditional equation using LaTeX. For example, consider the function g of two variable x and y, where for different set of values of x and y, it takes different values. So it is a function that splits into three different regions for different choices of the variable. How can we write such a conditional equation inside LaTeX? The aim of this video is to let you know how one can write a conditional equation of this form inside a document built through LaTeX. So here I'm working in document class article in the best way to write conditional equation is to use the package math tool. However, this package is not presently installed on my system. Therefore, I would try to write it down by using AMS math package. I would like to start a move to writing the conditional equation, which I have already built an equation environment using a line command. And I have added a label to the equation, which is e1 here i have already written the same equation as you saw before but first want to see whether the document is building it correctly or not i would like to build the document first and see whether this is correctly written or not so you see the same function is written with three condition every condition on a separate line uh, let's see how can we write down these things you must note uh, three things in this equation. Number first, this g is uh, not the g written in English uh, traditional format and similarly the r is uh, written in double format. I would like to point out these things. How can we add this type of mathematical symbol using LaTeX? So uh, now let's understand what I have done over here. Here I have added the label to the equation so uh, that you can do by using the label command and putting a unique key inside the curly braces which in fact is the argument of the label command. Additionally, if you look at here, I have written G inside a special command mathcal. It is in fact a command used for math calligraphy, which is used for introducing different symbols, special symbol inside an equation. Then I add begin cases. It is in fact this command that produce conditional statements. So I add the begin cases command to the and then straight away write the first condition which is one. So this is the value and then an M person. The N person separates the value of the function from the condition. And inside the condition region I have put a text command and then followed by the condition. So uh, the condition x is equal to y is written inside the math symbol by adding dollar signs, then text, and then again the math symbol. One thing you need to note over here, backslash in e is a command in LaTeX used for not equal to. Similarly, I can introduce the division by adding the fraction command and then writing the numerator uh, in one set of curly brackets and the denominator and other sets of curly brackets. Here I write this as the denominator. So this whole term is the denominator which I am writing inside the curly brackets. Then I can introduce the square root command by backslash sqrt and anything that come under the square root should be written inside the curly brackets which I am writing over here. So gamma z and gamma y this should in fact be gamma x. I want to put x. Gamma x and gamma y and then I like in the first line I put uh, an M person to separate the value of the function and the corresponding condition. So here again, I write the same condition like I have written in the first line inside the text argument, but here I add two other commands, backslash in. Backslash in is a command used for belongs to symbol of mathematics. And then the double 
uh, symbols, the, the, the double line symbols can be introduced into maths by using math bb command. And then I add the two uh, backslashes in order to start a new line. And here I, st I start a new line. Again, this gives the value of the function, the ampersand separate the value and the condition which I write here is otherwise. If now I again build, build the documents, you will understand what I have done. So you see, these are the values. One is the value in the first line and then this condition which I wrote inside the backslash text uh, commands. This is the value which is uh, the denominator. So gamma x gamma y is inside the square root in the numerator I have written in the first set of curly braces and you see the or the double line or is added by using the uh, math bb command and this belongs to command is uh, this belongs to symbol is introduced by using the command base slash in and similarly the not equal to uh, symbol was introduced by using base slash in e so uh, this is a simple way of writing conditional equation into your LaTeX document. I hope this will help you in generating your text document based on mathematical equations with conditions very easily.